Hello, and welcome to Strategic Speaking for Results. I'm Elizabeth Bachman, your host, and today I'd like to talk to you about how not to bore your audience, how to keep them interested, and really one of the questions that I see over and over again, or one of the challenges I see over again, is when people go too fast and they forget to stop at the end of sentences, much less paragraphs. Think about it. Have you ever seen a speaker who talked so fast you couldn't understand? Or have you ever listened to a webinar or a podcast and you lost track of what the speaker was talking about? You couldn't figure out where you were in the process? It happens a lot. It really does. And if you're a presenter, what you risk is losing the attention of your audience, especially nowadays when most of the time we are on a video presentation, then it's so easy for your audience to tune out. Maybe they shrink you into a little corner at the bottom of the screen and they go on playing solitaire or fooling around on Facebook or maybe finishing their emails, but they're not really listening. The key is to stop at the end of, of sentences and at the end of a thought, really. If you think about a, say, a magazine article, you've got a headline, you've got a little blurb at the top, a little, a little paragraph that tells you what it's about. And then you have subheadings, you've got sections, and you've got headlines for each of them. And there are paragraphs, places where the line breaks, and then they start a new thought. This is something we take for granted when we read it, but it applies to speaking as well. If you think of your speech as needing paragraphs, needing breaks, the way you do that when you're speaking is to pause. Pause at the end of a thought. Pause at the, and then start a new thought of a different tone of voice to start a new thought. Now, that's all, all very well for me to say, this is my business. Here are some tips to help you think about how to use the power of the pause and how to structure your talk so that your audience knows when they need to be paying attention. The first key is to have, show us your intentions. Tell us what you're going to be telling us. There's an old phrase, I, I think it may have come from Dale Carnegie, to tell them what you're gonna tell them, then you tell them, then you tell them what they, you've just told them. It's a cliche because it works, it's true. If you give us your intentions at the beginning of the speech, then we know what's coming and we know, okay, we're gonna to listen to these three talking points. This also works within a company, by the way. When you're making a presentation to upper management, tell them, um, my intention today is to tell you these three things so that they know what's coming. Otherwise, they might start asking you questions at your first point, and you never actually get to the second or the third point. That's kind of like a table of contents in a book or the executive summary at the beginning of a magazine article. Actually, it's more like the teaser phrase, the teaser paragraph at the beginning of an article that makes you think, ooh, I want to read further. Then, when you finish each point, start each point, let us know what's happening. And then you finish each point, give us a little ending comment. So the key thing to remember is da 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 da. Pause for a moment and then say, the second thing I want to tell you is, or that leads me to my next point. Da da, da 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 And then at the end, you can say, the one thing I want you to remember about this point is 
X, Y, Z. Pause. And then go on to your next point. One of the ways to make yourself do this, because it's hard to remember to do this unless you build it into the talk. And when adrenaline starts going and you start talking really fast and you say, oh, I have to get through this. I have to really rush to get through this. Key point, key point, don't rush. If you have to shorten something in order to finish on time, take your time and do it right. You'll see on my YouTube channel, there's a, uh, there's a video about adapting to a shorter or longer time slot that shows you how you can be flexible and still make your points. One of the ways to make yourself change the way you're talking or the tone of voice, which will alert that person who's actually doing their emails <laughs> to pay attention to you, is to ask a question. If you're on a live webinar and it's a workshop situation, ask people to write in the chat. If it's something that's going to be recorded, ask people to think about this. Write this down. Have you ever thought about things like that? You can tell them, pause the recording and write this down. Or you could tell a story. Your voice will naturally change tone and pace if you're telling a story. At least, I hope it will. If not, come talk to me. When you tell a story, make sure you finish it and give us a moment to let it land. It's just like going to a concert. They'll finish and there's a moment of silence before the applause starts. People want to know when to applaud. You've got to give us an ending so that we know when to applaud. So remember the power of the pause. Think about paragraphs and subheadings. Tell a story, ask a question, and pause. This has been Elizabeth Bachman of Strategic Speaking for Results. Please like my, face, my, my Facebook page, like this post, share it. And don't forget to go over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. There's all sorts of great information on it. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you on the next one.